grew up in India, and my dad was in the army, and he moved around a lot. And we weren't rich. My parents decided to send us to boarding school because education was the way to move forward. Education is a huge upfront investment in a person for a lifetime. I'll tell you the, what, what really shocked me, I mean, and this has really stayed with me for a long time. I one day saw the bill or the invoice from my school for my brother and me, and they were spending 60% of their income, combined income, on the two of us. That alone made, makes you realize one thing, what their financial decision was, was very simple. They weren't looking for money directly. They weren't thinking how much we would do of us would earn. They were thinking of the value that investment would be worth and for many years. And that's what finance is all about. I wish I knew finance then because I would be able to sit down and figure it out for myself and put some numbers. That has stayed within me for a long time. Maybe perhaps that's why I got interested in finance is because it's about choices, tough choices and how do you value them. On a more emotional note, I wish more people invested in education and that's one of the reasons why I'm teaching this class too is through finance you want to value the worth of education and uh, so it's serving many purposes. To me that's a very powerful example to be honest, it was not like eating an apple, it was not like buying a shirt. My father didn't have a car till he was 55. He was often asked, how come you are a colonel in the army and you don't have a car? And he said this, he said, I have two cars, they are parked in the boarding school and they're growing very well. I thought that was so sweet. He wasn't saying he's making a sacrifice, he was actually saying he doesn't need a car and he would rather spend the two of us. So finance is the study of time. It makes you evaluate costs and benefits spread out over time. And that's why it's very useful later on in life because what life is is about making small decisions that become more and more complicated. That's, that in essence is what it's all about. The beauty in that example is both about a tough decision and how you can understand it using finance So because it's a trade-off time, it's a trade-off about values, it's not about money, so it reflects a lot of interesting things, including two cars. <laughs>